in the golden glow of mid-century television amidst the crackling anticipation of a black and white screen. A vivacious presence burst forth, etching its charm into the very soul of entertainment history. It was the year 1951 when I Love Lucy waltzed into our lives, a captivating dance of laughter, love, and endless misadventures. A mere mention of the show is akin to flipping through sepia tone memories, a portal into a bygone era of innocence and exuberance. As the screen flickered to life, Lucil Ball's red hair ignited the room, a fiery beacon of comedic brilliance. Ethel and Fred Mertz added their own flavor to the mix, the quartet forming a symphony of hilarity that continues to resonate across generations. Remember that very first episode. The uproarious escapade involving a certain conveyor belt and chocolates, a moment that embedded itself in our collective psyche, reminding us that even the most mundane routines can spiral into side-splitting chaos. But oh, the show was more than just laughter. It was a reflection of life's quirks and relationships' intricacies. Luce's unyielding determination and Ricky's bemused exasperation were a dance of love that showcased the beauty of imperfections, and the art of compromise. From Lucy's iconic grape-stomping incident to her uproarious attempts at showbiz, each episode was a tale of resilience, friendship, and the unstoppable force of dreams. Now, imagine dusting off those memories, reliving the uproarious moments that made I Love Lucy an eternal classic. But let's not stop there. Did you know that the show's pioneering use of multiple cameras revolutionized television production? or that it shattered barriers by featuring an interracial marriage at a time when such portrayals were rare. These random facts add layers of appreciation to the show's legacy, painting a fuller picture of its profound impact on both entertainment and society. So, as we journey back to a time when laughter echoed through living rooms and Lucy's antics ignited the screen, let's celebrate the show that continues to whisper in our hearts, a timeless reminder that life's tapestry is woven with moments of joy, hilarity, and love. Lucy's pajamas and Ricky's socks, unseen clues and I Love Lucy episodes in the golden age of television. Few shows shine as brightly as I Love Lucy. Amid the laughter and unforgettable antics of Lucy and Ricky Ricardo, a subtle yet intriguing detail dances across the screen. For those keen-eyed viewers, a sartorial secret emerges during the couple's bedtime scenes. The iconic Ricardo residence at 623 68th Street is etched into pop culture lore. However, a curious quirk arises when one delves into Manhattan's street grid. East 68th Street halts at number 600, rendering the Ricardo's dwelling seemingly adrift in the East River. This architectural oddity teases a reality-bending scenario, bridging fiction and geography. Yet, a quirkier quirk lurks in the intimate moments Lucy and Ricky share beneath the sheets. As they slip in and out of bed, attentive eyes catch a fashion mismatch that reveals the live production challenges of the era. Ricky, portrayed by Daisy Arnaz, trots around in black dress socks even during bedtime scenes. Lucy, portrayed by Lucille Ball, slips into stockings under her pajamas or gowns. These subtle costume changes, a byproduct of live TV's rapid pacing, offer an unseen glimpse into the show's dynamic production circumstances. One must note, however, that the wardrobe peculiarities are overshadowed by a clause in William Frawley's contract. The actor portraying Fred Mertz, a devoted fan of the New York Yankees, Frawley secured an exception that freed him from filming obligations during the World Series, coincidentally coinciding with the show's annual airing. With the Bronx Bombers dominating the Diamond, Frawley's absence from the Mertz's apartment attested to his steadfast loyalty to the pinstripe champions. While Luce's capers and Ricky's music echo through time, these concealed clues layer the series with an intriguing allure. Amid the laughter, camaraderie, and witticisms, the garments that Lucy and Ricky Don reveal untold tales of the live television era. As you revisit the episodes, keep an eye out for the unspoken stories woven into the fabric of their pajamas and socks. Unveiling the unseen drama behind I Love Lucy spin-off plans in the golden age of television, few shows shimmered as brightly as I Love Lucy, the timeless sitcom that graced our screens in 1951. Yet, beyond the laughs and witty antics of the Ricardo family, a story of potential spin-offs and simmering tensions lay hidden beneath the surface. While the antics of Lucy Ricardo and Ricky Ricardo entertained millions, keen-eyed viewers might have spotted uncanny parallels between the characters' lives and those of the actors portraying them. Lucille Ball, hailing from West Jamestown, New York, mirrored her character's origin. 
The same held true for Daisy Arnaz, with his Cuban roots aligning with Ricky Ricardo's heritage. The fictional lovebirds even eloped to Connecticut, echoing the real-life tale of Lucille and Daisy. Ethel Mertz, portrayed by Vivian Vance, was another embodiment of art imitating life, originating in Albuquerque, New Mexico, much like Vance herself. The symphony of coincidences extended to Fred Mertz, with actor William Frawley's Midwestern background and vaudevillian journey mirrored in his character's narrative. But the secret ingredient of this sitcom's success lay not just in scripted parallels, but in off-screen clashes. Behind the scenes, plans to spin off the beloved Mertz couple into their own show took shape. Yet, the stage wasn't set for harmony. William Frawley, aligned with the idea, aimed to keep the laughs rolling. On the other side, Vivian Vance, harboring a well-known disdain for Frawley, fervently opposed the notion, igniting an unseen rivalry. As the curtain fell on the Lucy Daisy comedy hour, the brewing tension between Vance and Frawley reached a boiling point. Vivian Vance's vehement opposition to the spin-off plans, rooted in her contempt for Frawley, turned the backstage into a battlefield. A tempestuous relationship that had long brewed under the studio lights now threatened to overshadow the laughter that had united viewers across the nation. In the annals of television history, I Love Lucy remains an icon its comedic legacy forever etched into the cultural consciousness. Yet, beneath the surface, the clash of artistic vision and personal conflict underscored the creative journey. It's a testament that even amidst the laughter, the drama of real lives and divergent aspirations can captivate us just as much as the characters on the screen. So as we revisit the episodes that have aged like fine wine, let's not forget that the world behind the laughs is often just as riveting. After all, in the world of show business, the magic is not only in what's seen on camera but in the stories that unfold when the director yells cut. Lucy and Ricky's unconventional sleeping arrangement, a peek into the evolution of I Love Lucy in the early 1950s. As television screens flickered to life across the nation, a groundbreaking show emerged, captivating audiences with its humor, charm, and a touch of controversy. I Love Lucy, the beloved sitcom that would come to define a generation had its fair share of behind-the-scenes quirks that only added to its allure. One particularly intriguing aspect of the show's history revolves around the on-screen sleeping arrangements of the iconic couple, Lucy and Ricky Ricardo. During the show's formative years, from 1951 to 1953, the Ricardo's bedroom was the subject of subtle but significant evolution. The couple's twin beds, pushed together on the same box spring, symbolized a delicate dance around the television industry's strict guidelines regarding depictions of intimacy. But it was the birth of little Ricky that led to a change in the tides. CBS executives, ever mindful of societal sensitivities, suggested a physical separation of the beds, hoping to downplay any implications of a shared marital history. Interestingly, the couple's reconfigured sleeping setup wasn't permanent. As they moved to a larger apartment within the Mertz building, the twin beds were once again brought together, hinting at the couple's rekindled closeness. However, this reunion was short-lived, as subsequent episodes would revert to the now-familiar image of twin beds standing apart, a testament to the prevailing norms of the era. Intriguingly, this peculiar aspect of I Love Lucy was only a fragment of the show's captivating dynamics. While details about the cast's relationships were oftentimes kept private, the camaraderie between William Frawley, who portrayed the lovable Fred Mertz, and Daisy Arnaz, the charismatic Ricky Ricardo, stands out as a compelling subplot. Despite initial reservations from CBS executives regarding Frawley's casting due to his reputation as an alcoholic, he proved their doubts unfounded. Arnaz, in a move of mutual trust, set clear terms with Frawley, arrive sober and show up punctually or face the risk of being written off the show. Frawley admirably met these expectations, often outpacing his co-stars and learning lines. This alliance blossomed into a genuine friendship that endured long after the show's final curtain call. I Love Lucy was a trailblazer in many ways, captivating audiences with its wit, timeless humor, and yes, even the way it handled the nuances of Lucy and Ricky's sleeping arrangements. These peculiar aspects, from on-screen portrayals to off-screen friendships, are part of what makes this show an everlasting cultural touchstone. When I Love Lucy embarked on its Hollywood escapade, the silver screen's glitz and glamour found its way to the small screen, cleverly etched into the show's backdrop. 
The vista of Hollywood that adorned the Ricardo's hotel suite replicated the very site from the Dezillu lot on Cahuenga Boulevard, where the series mostly unfolded. A striking tableau of Hollywood and Vine landmarks graced the backdrop, enduring even decades later. Notably absent was the nascent Capitol Records building, still under construction during filming. The fictitious Beverly Palms Hotel ingeniously blended designs from iconic real-world counterparts, Hollywood Plaza, Roosevelt, and Beverly Hills Hotels. Yet, perhaps even more captivating than the artful scenery was the constellation of Hollywood stars that graced the show's episodes. A veritable who's who of the era's luminaries, these guests weren't drawn by lucre but by fondness for the show or friendships with the stars. An illustrious cast included the likes of Tennessee Ernie Ford, John Wayne, Bob Hope, Rock Hudson, and more. Their star power illuminated the episodes, leaving an indelible mark on television history. However, a lesser-known facet lies in Mary Jane Croft's versatility. Within the show's universe, she took on the roles of Benny Ramsey, Evelyn Bixby, and Cynthia Harcourt. A chameleon of characters, her contributions added depth and diversity to the show's narrative tapestry. As we reminisce about this timeless series, let's remember not just its comedic brilliance, but also the intricate web of Hollywood connections that gave it life. I Love Lucy was more than a show, it was a living tableau of an era, where laughter and camaraderie reigned supreme. As we bid adieu to the charming world of I Love Lucy, we find ourselves traversing a remarkable journey of laughter, love, and life's zany escapades. As the curtains close on this timeless TV series, the echoes of Lucy's vivacious antics and Ricky's endearing exasperation linger in our hearts like the faint melody of a cherished tune. What makes I Love Lucy an enduring masterpiece is its ability to effortlessly bridge generations, weaving a tapestry of shared smiles across time. It's not merely a show, it's a testament to the magic of human connections and the universal language of humor. Luce's misadventures speak to our inner yearning for spontaneity, while Ethel and Fred remind us of the beauty of steadfast companionship. As we reflect on our personal odyssey through the episodes, we invite you to relive the moments that painted smiles on your face, moments that made you believe in the power of laughter as a unifying force. Was it Lucy's iconic grape-stomping escapade or her outrageous attempts at getting into showbiz? Was it the heartwarming camaraderie between friends or the heartfelt moments that define the relationships? Your memories and reflections are the threads that keep this vibrant tapestry alive. Share your favorite anecdotes, let your thoughts flow like the rhythm of Daisy's music, and relish in the beauty of a show that transcends time and space. So, whether you're a seasoned fan who watched it unfold in real time or a newfound admirer exploring the vintage allure, your connection to I Love Lucy is a treasure to be celebrated. It's a testament to the enduring power of laughter and love, reminding us that even in the simplest moments, there's profound magic. Thank you for journeying through the laughter and love with us. Your time and interest are cherished like Lucy's dreams of stardom. Keep the memories alive, share your thoughts, and let's keep the spirit of I Love Lucy alive, forever etched in our hearts. With admiration for the timeless allure of I Love Lucy.